G'day guys, welcome to Pepsing. Now today in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create the easiest mod mail system for your server using the bot YAGPDB. This mod mail system is super easy to set up and the best part about this mail system, which I like a lot, is that it's all within the server. So I'll give you an example of how this bot looks and how it works. Right here, I just have a clone of the old design of my server. So once it's set up and finalized, you'll have one certain channel in which people can open a ticket to get the help they need and start a thread with the moderators in which they use this command. As you can see here, the bot has opened a ticket for us. If we scroll down, you can see there is a category here that has been created just for the tickets. If you're a moderator, owner or admin, you'll be able to see these tickets. You can click on it and talk to the person who opened the ticket. Now, as I was the one who opened the ticket, I'm basically talking to myself. But as you can see, it opens up a private thread. And in this thread, only the moderators, admins and the member who opened the ticket can only see this thread. So it's a private conversation between the member and the mods. And once you guys have resolved the issue or, you know, even got the artwork that the member's posting, you can just simply close the ticket here. And as you can see, it gets deleted from the tickets. It gets easily sorted and deletes quite easily. So it's that simple, that easy. And let's get in showing you how to do that. If you find this video useful, helpful, or if you just enjoy it, please like the video and comment below what you liked about it. With that said, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is add the bot to your server. If you just head to yagpdb.xyz, it will take you to the bot's website in which you can add it to your server. After that, you will see control panel in which you can click here. And if you don't have the bot already, at the top right, you will see login using Discord. Just click there and just authorize the YAGPDB. After that, all you need to do is select server. If it hasn't joined your server yet, just find your server that has a plus sign near it and click on it to add it to your server. I'll click test server. When you click add to server, you will see this screen. All you need to do is make sure it's going to the right server and then click continue. On this screen, it will confirm that you want to connect the bot to your Discord server. And as you can see here, you can tick and untick whatever permissions you want to give the bot. With majority of the bots, you can untick administrator as they don't need to have that much power in your server. And you can click and choose whatever you want it to see. Obviously, you need to let it be able to read messages and send messages. And for this ticketing system to be able to work, you need to have it be able to manage roles and manage channels. Manage roles allows the bot to make a mod mail ticket admins only. So it's able to move and kick out moderators from the chat. And manage channels is what it needs so it can create private text channels for each mod mail ticket that is created. So you do need those. You can, you know, you can untick, kick and ban members if you want. But if you're using this bot as a moderating tool as well, then you'll probably want to keep those available. Anyway, so once you're done, you just click authorize. Now just choose the server you're using on the panel here. And you see this. However, we need to go back to the server now to get a few things in order before we make the command for the bot. First one is up here. Once the bot is part of your server, you're going to go to roles. Make sure to put YAGPDB at the top here as this allows it to use its authority over any role that is below it. Just save changes and exit out. Now, the first thing you want to do is create a new category. For me, when I tried implementing the bot into a category that already existed on my server, it just didn't work for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why. So the easiest case possible is to just open a new category for the bot. So name it whatever you'd like, but this category is where all the open mod mail threads are going to be. So when you're talking directly to a member, this is where all the new channels will be created. Go ahead and create that. And that's all you need to do for that. If you already have moderators, you can skip ahead in the video to the time shown on the screen. But if you don't, I'm just going to quickly show you how to create a quick moderator role. So to get a moderator, obviously just click the plus button here and you'll end up with a new role. All you need to do is rename it moderator. And once you've named it moderator, you can add whatever permissions you want. Obviously don't add administrator because this will give them way too many permissions, but you can give them the usual things like view or log, kick members, bear members, all that sort of stuff. Secondly, you'll need a place to log all your mod mail discussions and transcripts. So obviously you want to keep these logs private. So if you already have some sort of log system, whether that be for me six or dino, just any sort of mod log system, you can just copy that and paste it and just make it for YAGPDB. But if you don't to log your mod mail, I would create a brand new category and I'll just call it staff. I'd make it private owner, moderator and create a new category under that. I'll create a new channel and I'll make that mod mail logs. If we edit the permissions, we can see that moderator can already read the messages. 
Now, just press the plus here and add in YagPDB so we can actually send the log messages to this channel and allow it to read and send messages and attach files. And that's all you need to do and just press save changes. Now to mention is that you can pretty much copy what I'm doing. However, if your server is somehow set up different, this may end up being slightly different. For my servers that I own, I have the at everyone role to have all of the permissions turned off. If you have them turned on, it may be slightly different. It will probably still work, but just keep that in mind if you're trying to copy what I'm doing. Finally, the last thing you need to do is open a public channel where people can open a ticket so then they can go to the mod mail. All you need to do is open a public channel where people can actually use the mod mail command to open a private ticket for themselves and have it all nicely sorted in one channel. So again, we'll just create channel. We'll call this open a ticket, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. And we'll edit channel permissions and we'll just add the verified role which, assuming you have a server, this is just the baseline role where people have verified themselves and are now part of the actual server. Allow them to read messages and send messages. Add a moderator for, add a moderator to moderate, you know, all the things and save and just save that. Add whoever you want to be part of this channel who can actually send mod mail commands so they can open a ticket to talk to the moderators. Now, once that's done, you have everything you need to create the mod mail system. If we head back over to the YAG PDB website, all you need to do is scroll down from the main screen and you will find the ticket settings. This is super quick and easy to do and we'll run through this right now. Firstly, enable tickets. As you can read from the instructions here, it's pretty straightforward. Right here is to select the admin and owner as people can use a command which turns the mod mail thread only for the admins and the member to read together. So just add whatever admin you want. This is obviously the role for moderators. Add as many and whatever moderators you want and move on to the next one. Now this is the brand new category I was talking about at the start, which we called mod mail tickets in action. This is where the discussion threads with the moderators and the members will be created. This is where the transcripts get sent and obviously we'll send that to the logs. Another optional channel to add, if you have admin only mod mail chats with members, then the logs of that you may want to send to a channel only you and admins can read. So we'll just make that right now. And the permissions for that is we'll turn off moderators so they can't read it. And assuming you have any sort of admins, allow them to read the logs. This is where the admin only transcripts and logs will be sent and we will send that to obviously admin only logs. Finally, we have ticket status updates and you may as well send that to mod mail logs. Lastly, you have these two switches here. You can pretty much turn them both on. This will create a transcript file of the conversation that you can actually save onto your computer or anywhere you want. And here allows you to download and archive the attachments such as art or photos that people send in through the conversation. Finally down here, we can see that this is the coded message that YAGPDB will send as soon as someone opens a ticket. As we saw at the start, and I'll probably throw it on screen here, this code will look like this once the ticket has been opened. However, the default option doesn't tell people how to talk to admins only. So I basically just copied and wrote a piece of code that looks just like this, that when the ticket gets open, people can clearly see how to use the command to do admins only. I'll put this code in the description of my video below so you guys can use that or you can just copy what you see on screen right now. But that will change the message as you can see on screen here from this old message to this new message. And that's pretty much it. So once you've saved everything you've done, you've pretty much done everything you need to do. Make sure that the tickets are enabled at the top here. And you can just copy this code as this is the command that opens the ticket for any user on the server. So if you copy the command into the chat here and paste it, it should open a ticket. And that is pretty much it. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. And I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like in the perspective of an admin, a moderator, and a user creating one of these. So let's assume one of the verified members has decided to open a ticket to talk to the moderators. As you can see, they write the command in the open ticket channel and a ticket gets open for them. Now I'm the owner right now, so I can look into it. But if you look on the right here, only the member that opened the ticket can read it. If we go back to here, newbie can read this open public chat. But as soon as we go to the tickets, newbie cannot read it. It is completely private for the user who opened the ticket. If the member writes a message, I can clearly see it and I can also clearly reply back to them. 
if the user decides to do admins only, we can see here that YAGPDB removes any moderators from viewing this channel. I'm currently an admin, so I can see this channel. Also, both the moderator and the member can close the ticket. Whoever decides to do the command can simply close the ticket just like that, and it's done. Another tip that you may like to know is that you can rename the bot. So you can change its nickname to something like ModMail, and when people see the bot, they understand that this is the ModMail bot. So once you've completed all those steps and understand how it works, you're pretty much done to let this become part of your channel. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if this helped you in any way. Also, make sure you subscribe if you want to see future videos. I have so many Discord videos that I plan to release in the coming months, and a few that are already recorded and in the works. And one final thing is that if you enjoyed the way I make my videos and explain my tutorials, then please consider supporting me on my Patreon. Even just $1 lets me know that you guys enjoy my videos and are willing to support the way I make my tutorials. This has been a video about how to do mod mail by Pepsing. And guys, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video.